Okay, so in this video, um, we are given we're given a function here, and we want to figure out the the zeros of this function. We are also given one of the one of the zeros, which is minus five i. Okay. So all right. So the way this is going to work is basically okay. Since we're given one of the zeros. And in this case, uh, it's it's a complex value, right? It's an imaginary value. So what we can do is, because this function has basically uh, real value coefficients, okay? And so therefore, if the polynomial has a complex root, then the complex conjugate of that root is also going to be a, a root, okay? All right, so in this case, because we're given negative five i, that means five i is also a root for this function, okay? And so using those, so using that information, we can construct a, a polynomial out of that. And then, so that turns out to be, that, that polynomial turns out to be a factor of this function. And then we can use long division to basically find the remaining zeros, okay? So let's do this, okay? So we have our, right? We have minus five i, okay? So that means the other root must be five i, okay? Okay, so those are complex, right? These are complex conjugates of each other, okay? All right, so, so now let's construct the polynomial uh, for both of these, for both of these uh, roots, okay? Okay, so we have, from this one, we have x minus negative five i, okay? So it's always x minus whatever the root is, okay? So that's gonna be a factor. And then we have x minus this one. Okay, so let's multiply, so let's simplify this, okay? So this is going to be x plus five i times x minus five i, okay? All right, so basically now we can just go ahead and multiply these out, okay? All right, so let's do that here. So that's gonna give us, basically, we're gonna get x squared, okay? And because we have a difference in signs here, so think of this as a plus b times a minus b. So if you recognize that, that should be a squared minus b squared, right? Okay, so this is gonna be minus, we have x squared minus, okay, 25 squared, okay? So we have minus here, okay? And then we're going to get uh, five i, so I'll write this way. Right, so x squared minus 25i squared, okay? So remember, okay, there's a, there's a definition for i squared. Because i is equal to square root of minus one. So this implies that if we square both sides, we get negative one. So this is going to give us x squared minus 25 times negative one, okay? Which basically gives us x squared plus 25, okay? So that is, right? So what this is saying is that um, this, this polynomial is also a factor of this polynomial. Since uh, the reason is because the, because minus five i and five i are, we're given, that those are zeros of this function, okay? By the way, so coming back here, okay? Um, so if you if you want, you can multiply this out, okay? And the, so distribute x, then distribute five i, and you get the same thing, okay? But you, at least you should recognize that this is in the same form as this. So we have a plus b times a minus b, and that's equal to a squared minus b squared, okay? And the reason it's positive again is because I squared is negative, right? Negative one. 
So that makes negative and negative and negative gives us gives us a positive here. Okay. All right. So we have that much information now. Okay. All right. So the rest is uh, for the rest of this. Uh, we're going to use long division. So we're going to take this function divide by this function. Okay. So let's do that. So we have two X to the power four plus three X to the power three plus 48 X squared plus 75 X minus 50. And we're gonna divide all that by X squared plus 25. All right, so let's start this process, okay? All right, so we put 2x to the power of 4 here, okay? And remember that just if there's any if there's any exponents missing, then we put those in as we put 0x or whatever to whatever power as placeholders. So remember that here, right? So make sure that there's no terms. They're not skipping any terms here. Okay, so everything looks good. Four, three, two, one, and then, uh, and then we have the constant. So, all right. So we have two x to the power of four. So we need to multiply. Obviously, we need to multiply. We need to multiply this by two, and then, okay, we think, okay, what times x squared will give us x to the fourth power? Well, it's going to be x to the power two. So, okay. So then we take this and. 2x squared and multiply it with whatever's left here, in this case, 25, okay? All right, and so we're gonna end up getting, so we're gonna end up getting 50, okay? X to the power, or sorry, X squared. And so we take that and write it underneath the corresponding exponent, okay? So, so these are like terms, okay? And then we do the difference, so, so we take the difference of all this. So minus here, okay, and minus here. All right, so we bring this one down. We didn't use that. Here we get 48 minus 50, right? So in other words, we have 48 squared minus 50 squared. So that's going to give us two, minus 2x two squared. And then we can, bring up, we can um, go ahead and bring the other terms down. Okay, so now we're kind of back to step one, okay? Um, so we're, we need to get 3x cubed, okay? So that means we need to multiply this by 3, okay? And an x. So 3x times x squared gives us 3x cubed. And then we have to multiply that 3x with uh, 25. So that's going to be uh, 75x. So we're going to put that underneath the corresponding term. So, so take the difference. So, okay, like up here, this is gonna be zero, this will be zero. We bring down this one, and then this will be zero, okay? And then we have uh, minus 50 here. Okay. So we still continue this process because remember the rule is that if, you're, if you look at the degree of this part, okay? If the degree of this is less than the, the, less than the degree of this one, then we don't, uh, then we stop, okay? All right, so we have to do this one more time here. Okay, so we need a minus two X squared. So minus two times X squared, that's gonna give us negative two X squared. Minus two times positive 25, that's going to give us negative 50. And then we change the sign. Okay? So that becomes positive. This becomes positive. So negative, so negative 50 plus 50 is zero. And we get zero here as well. So as so it's not, it's not a surprise, right? Um, that we get remainder zero because we knew that these two, right? These two are roots of, right? So specifically we're given this one. We also know that this is a root. Right, so so both of these are roots of this. So therefore, the the polynomial 
right? The polynomial for these, right? Okay, which is which is what we constructed here must be a factor of this one. Okay. So if you're doing a problem like this and you end up with something besides the zero remainder, that means most likely, okay, so one or two, one of two things. Okay. The first thing, maybe this was not done properly. Okay. Second thing, maybe the um, the construction of that polynomial wasn't done correctly. Okay. So you can use you can use this as a as a checkpoint. Okay. To make sure that you're on the right path. All right. So all right, so we have this, okay? Okay, so that means, so looking at this part now, okay? So what we have so far, okay? This being our function. Okay, so this is our function, right? So we showed, based on the work here, we showed that this function is equal to x squared plus 25 times this. Okay. All right, so we have, so we have the roots. We already have the roots for this part. Okay, remember that was uh, minus five i and negative five i. So now we need to figure out the roots for this. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so we right, so that's a factor of the original of our original polynomial. And so we set that factor equal to zero. Okay. So remember to factor something like this, okay? Um, we could technically use quadratic formula or we could use complete the square, uh, but it turns out that this is, um, that we can actually go ahead and uh, factor this um, into, Right, using uh, using this approach where we multiply the two and negative two, so we and then we find the factors of that that add up to three. Okay, so let's take that approach here. So we have two times negative two. That's going to give us negative four, and we want to right. We want to find the factors of negative four that add up to three. Okay, and so that's going to be. Right, so we're going to end up getting uh, positive four and minus one. So four minus one right, is positive three. At the same time, when we multiply these, we get negative four. Okay. All right. So let's, all right. So let's continue from here. So we have two X squared plus four X minus x minus two. Okay, so we use, right, so we're using these to write our middle coefficient. And it doesn't matter, you could put negative x and then plus four x here. Okay, so it doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter the order in which you put these. So we have four terms, right? So we can use factor by grouping now, okay? So this is, uh, so we can factor Basically factor, or let's go ahead and group these. And then, right, so we group the first two terms, the last two terms, and then we can factor out something from both of these. So this is, uh, we can factor out 2x. So that's gonna leave us with an x here, and then two, because two x times two is four x, uh, we can factor out a negative one here. Distributing, a, distributing the negative, we end up with this. Okay, so now, as expected, right, uh, these two right, um, are the same. So we can factor that out. So 
So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get x plus 2. times 2x minus 1, okay? Okay, so we factored out x plus 2, right? And so that leaves us with a 2x here, and then that's going to leave us with a 1. Again, think of this. Just think of this. There's a there's a 1 here, okay? So when we factor x plus 2, then uh, that leaves us with a 1. Okay, so now, right, we've set each factor equal to zero. So let's go over here. We're going to get x plus 2 equal to zero, okay? Or, some more room here. So we have x plus 2 equal to zero, and or 2x minus 1 equals to zero. Okay, so from the first from the first one, we're going to get x equals to negative two. From this, from the second one, we get two x equals to one, and that basically gives us x equals to one half. Okay, so these are right. So these are our roots. Okay, so we have this one. Okay. We have minus five i. Positive five i, negative two, and one half. Okay, so that's our right. Those are our solutions. So minus five i plus five i. Remember, those are the complex conjug. Those are complex uh, conjugates of, of each other. Okay, so we, we call this a uh, we call them a complex conjugate pair, and then we get negative two and one half. All right, so if we count, right, how many we have, we have four, so that matches the degree of this function, okay? So there's our roots, okay? And so, so when you plot this, okay, um, when you plot this on a Cartesian plane, you're gonna see these values, okay? You're gonna see the real roots, but you're not gonna be able to see these, okay? Uh, because this requires a what's called um, complex plane, okay? Uh, but that's our, that's what they wanted for this problem, right? They said just to find the zeros, okay? So there's our solution, okay? I really I hope I, I hope that uh, this uh, this example uh, helps helps out with the other problems.